Your local weather authority, Robert Bettis, the Borderlands only certified broadcast meteorologist. The 4th of July is getting closer and closer, isn't oh, yeah. it, Skylar? Oh, yeah. It is actually one of my favorite holidays. Is and then it Halloween. really? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so is your dog, Nismo. Oh, yeah. But let me tell you, don't let it fool you. He's actually very scared of fireworks. Well, <laughs> I w so I was going to ask that because we, we run the horror stories every year about, oh, the fireworks. Yeah. And dogs really do go crazy with those. Uh, so Nismo, you dressed him up and then you hit him inside? Yeah, that's right. I like to dress him up, take the cute pictures sure. like that one you see right there, right. and then I'll kind of hide him and Boom, stick make him sure he's all closet. set with the air and everything. <laughs> 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 Wonderful dog, Nismo and Skylar. Yes. Thank you. All right, take a look at Las Cruces right now. Clear as a bell, beautiful night tonight and a dry night tonight. It was a hot day today. No heat advisory in effect or anything like that. But those heat advisories are likely to be coming back by next Thursday, Friday, and next weekend when high temperatures could be back up into the 108 range. It is 103 at the airport right now. Winds coming in from the northwest 10 miles per hour. Dew point at 25. That's a mere 6% relative humidity. Here are the other high temperatures today in the borderland. 96 for Van Horn, but they had storms out there. Hint, hint of what's coming tomorrow. 102 Juarez, 101 Las Cruces, 99 Alabagordo, 95 to your sea, and 98 in Deming. A look at the satellite radar composite. Right now we have a nice southwesterly wind drying the whole borderland out but the moisture is just to the east of us. And all we need is a little shift in those winds and that shift in the winds will come overnight tonight. And when we wake up tomorrow, oh goody, that muggy feel. It'll be clear, but it'll be mm, humid, at least for our standards. Thunderstorms have been cropping up in south uh, eastern New Mexico, right around Dell City a little bit earlier, but that's cleared up. Cornutus as well. And the eastern portion of Hudspeth County has had some severe weather. We've been quiet and we'll stay quiet tonight, but we'll get our chance of thunder showers late in the afternoon tomorrow. Here comes your allergy forecast. The allergy count 5.9 on Monday and then 5.6 on Tuesday. Across the nation, here's what you can expect. Severe weather potentially right along the eastern seaboard and into New England, also down in to parts of Illinois. We'll see thunder showers tomorrow. We'll start out clear and then here come those storms. Here are the high temperatures for tomorrow. 99 Alabagordo, 99 for Deming, 103 for Juarez and 101 for Van Horn. Tonight for you, Las Cruces, 72, a low temperature. And then for tomorrow, we'll be on the hot side with a chance of those late day thunderstorms. 73 low temperature tonight at the International Airport. We'll get a chance of thunder showers with a high temperature of 99 degrees. It'll be nice to be out of the triple digits for a while. Only KTSM gives you nine full days of weather. We can expect Monday to be 97 with evening storms on the 4th of July, downgrading that to a slight chance of isolated evening storms, high temperature 100 degrees. 105 on Wednesday, as we'll see a couple of hit or miss storms thinning out, high pressure building, pinpoint showers Thursday with a high of 105. Ah, 107 on Friday, 108 on Saturday, 106 with pinpoint showers on Sunday, and then back down to 104 with evening storms on Monday.